my channel. So we are in Patty. You guys, you are officially in Paris. This is actually technically day two of Paris. I didn't really vlog much yesterday only because yesterday was more of a exploration, walk around the area where our hotel is, slash take a long nap um, kind of day because anytime we travel internationally, jet lag always kicks our butt <laughs> our butt so we literally got here at like we landed at like 6 10. we landed here at 6 10 so we landed here actually like 40 minutes ahead of schedule of when we were supposed to get here and we got here early um we went to the airport the customs process here took a very long time uh, like longer than it did in Mexico or that it does in Mexico and it always takes forever when we go to Mexico, Mexico um but it took a long time to get just to get through um customs but that was fine um and then we caught a shuttle um from the airport to our hotel from our hotel we walked and got some breakfast um walked around a little bit came back to our hotel checked in our room and we crashed like four or five hours we slept for a long time y'all <laughs> We slept, we've gotten a good nap, but then we woke up, kind of like walked around, again, walked around some more around the area, around our hotel. Here, um, just like how it did in the UK, especially this time of year, it gets, there's shorter days, so like, the sun doesn't rise until, like, what is it, 8.30? 8.45. Around like 8.30, 8.45, and it sets around like 5 o'clock, like a little bit after 5 or so, so by the time we went out yesterday evening, it was um, dark, but... We just did that, walked around um, some shops and all that, ate some food. It was nothing too crazy. Um, so yesterday was more about exploring and today is more about our actual activity. So we are starving. Um, we slept in. <laughs> well, slept in is, I'll use that loosely. We didn't go to bed until late because our bodies are obviously still on US time. So we went to bed late, which made us sleep late. But now we're up and we're about to go get some food and then kind of explore the town. We finally made it out and about. It is very rainy here. It's supposed to rain our entire trip. That's a little bit of a bummer, but it's okay. Unfortunately, I bought this umbrella. Yesterday we were out and it stopped raining and I didn't bring it because we thought that it was, you know, clear for the rest of the night. And then we definitely got stuck in the rain yesterday. It wasn't bad, but... Yeah, it was no, it, yeah, it's not it bad. Light, it's, right? it's more, yeah, like the rain, um, even like now, it's like light rain, but it's just rainy. It's just rain. <laughs> yeah, it's just gloomy and it's cold, so it's not, you know. Dion's gonna go get something from like the rotisserie off the street. No. You're not going to? I'm oh, the, the Asian food. Yeah. Oh, from that place you passed out yesterday. Yep. Oh, okay. He's gonna just try everything. Yep. everything. I want to go to the bakery and get something before we um, head to lunch. And then we're doing some shopping today. Is that what we're doing? He's so corny. So me and Dion right there, we're being adventurous and we're taking the train. We literally, I just keep telling him, I'm like, oh, we're trying. That's when we don't get lost. Cause oh, we're literally, he was just see us. We're like, boy, yes, we're so, so, so lost. Paris, not enjoying. We're out here shopping on the streets of Paris, enjoying our time. This one over here, he's he's one going on the shopping. <laughs> he's going on the shopping. I'm just following along, y'all. Let's find some food first. Because I'm starving. I literally, all I've had today is a croissant. A croissant. How are you pronouncing it in French? So we stopped at this cute little restaurant on the avenue. I wanted to go here because one of my followers suggested it and it is so cute but the line was long and we didn't find waiting for it so we ended up at this place here it's like right next door have a little bit of everything which is good i got myself some wine some uh, nice nice chardonnay to be honest team water per usual but let's look at how cute it is in here i love 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 it it's so cute Dinner has arrived. Wait, what'd you get? I really don't know. Some kind of chicken or something. I don't know. 
Okay, so he kept it simple. She's supposed to be trying something new every day, remember? I've been trying something new. Well, that duck is ready. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so we just did chicken and mashed potatoes. And I did, um, I did this pasta. It's like a truffle cream sauce. It looks um, yeah, it looks so good. And then the crispy chicken. So it looks good. So we'll see how it is. Yeah, it has like a bunch of stores, a bunch of like yeah. red restaurants in it. It's so cute. No, I was just saying it. He's taking up forever. Acting like you don't know how to shop. I know, I'm taking my sweet time. <laughs> Which is crazy because you would think that it would be me. But no, it is <laughs> him so far. I did see some sunglasses though that I'm going to get. Some sunglasses. Um, I actually don't own a pair of like luxury sunglasses. And I saw a pair, I think it's I think they're Burberry that I like. So I may get those, but other than that. All right, y'all, we're in Gucci, and the culprit is still at it. Shopping. I'm telling y'all, y'all think it'd be me? But no. It's not you today. <laughs> Deon says it's me today. He is literally over here living his best life. <laughs> what are we thinking? Yay, nay. You feel better? Yeah, these are perfect. I'm thinking. Okay, so that's option one. I think I like the sneakers. What are you leaning towards? Sneakers or the loafers? You have to pick one. You gotta pick one. Painted it. Is she up or she sleep? Oh, she's up. Oh, there she goes. Hi. <laughs> she excited. Hi, pumpkin. Let me pull that so she can pay attention. Okay. Hi. Hi, mama. We can't both talk at the yes, same time. Yes, you can talk at the same time. Hi, Phoebe. You should figure out who this is. No, she's stretching me for Oh, wait, Sally, what is all of us for? What is all of us for? Yes. Okay, let me see now. Oh. Let me see. <laughs> Hi, Olivia. Hi. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Bye, Mama. I hope she don't forget me. So we are back in the room from today's adventures. It was fun. Um, we was just, well, cool. actually, yeah, it was, it was a good, it was like a really good day. Aside from all the rain, my hair is just, is, I'm hoping that I wrapped it as soon as we got back in the room. And so I'm hoping that it, when I wrap, take it down, it'll like look decent. So I have to keep putting heat on it every day. Cause as we heat on it yesterday because it had gotten wet and then today it had gotten wet. But I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna try to wrap it and just see. But yeah, so anyway, today was a great day. So today was just shopping day. Um, we always have one of those whenever <laughs> we travel abroad. Um, but my is you, I don't go No, they, y'all see the footage. Y'all saw who was the culprit. It was not me. I <laughs> said mostly. Most of the okay, time you. this time the culprit was this one literally dragging me in and out of stores. I had to drag him out of the freaking stores. You did. <laughs> I was trying to get my money somewhere. <laughs> Let's just say Dion was living his best life, okay? As you guys saw, we took the train, which was interesting. I it was real simple. I no, no, it was more simple than New York. Yeah, no, no. Once you once you figured it out, it was actually pretty easy to navigate. I shout out to Google Maps because if it was not for Google Maps, we would we, 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 we would be so lost. The, the damn maps are so Yes. The maps are so like congested. So yeah, it actually wasn't that bad. I just like going into it, I was kind of nervous. Also but because nervous. we um well, no, I, also because mind you, we can't read anything here. Like that is a struggle. We, I would say that. I would that say is a <laughs> that, to me, in my opinion, is probably one of the hardest. Okay, so I was telling Dion that obviously here English is not everyone's first language, but I was telling him though that one thing that has been um, very helpful is that even though everyone here speaks French and a lot of people don't really speak English, every single place that we've been, we've encountered someone that either speaks English or that can 
at least understand it to well, like communicate yeah can, yes at least yes, no. ex yeah exactly <laughs> but yeah overall though it's been a really good experience we have two more days left so i'm excited tomorrow we're gonna do the palace do we decide mm -hmm. i also know that i want to do a dinner cruise along the side sienna see this how you pronounce it the river along the right by the Alpha Tower. That's our recap of day two. Um, and we will catch you guys in the morning. So it is day three and we are about to head out um, for the day. But I want to go ahead and share today's OOTD since I didn't get a, um, a glimpse of, or I didn't get a clip of yesterday's outfit. I want to make sure I go ahead and got one before my makeup gets all ruined uh, with the mask. But I just have on um, this all black fit. So I just have on um, like a black turtleneck. Sorry guys, the lighting here isn't isn't the greatest right here in the spot, but I have on a black turtleneck. I have on this black puffer vest that I got from H&M. I also have on two necklaces. I have on um, one necklace is from H&M. The other one is from Nordstrom. And then I love, love, love this black puffer. So cute. And then I have some black pants from H&M. Actually, the whole outfit pretty much is H&M because the turtleneck I think is from Forever and then the puffer, the black pants, and the black boots are from H&M. We're giving all black today and I am really feeling it. So we're out. Fortunately, it's not raining. At least right now it's not raining. So it's good. I'm gonna break from the umbrella. So walking down to the Eiffel Tower right now. This is pretty much like a different part of town that we haven't seen, or pretty part of the city that we haven't seen, and it is beautiful. There's the Eiffel Tower. No lie, it's actually not as big as I expected it to be in person, but <laughs> it's still gorgeous nonetheless. So we can't use our phones and cameras inside. So you guys don't want to see much inside the palace, but at least you all can see the outside. So the door. So there. The door is there it is. Real. They were destroyed. So there's that's perfect. Oh, the gold along the oh. the gate. Dion's looking up the history of the the, the, the palace and the chateau. You know, it, they have five donors donate eight million dollars to replace the gold leaves on the gate. It's crazy. 500, 5 million euros. It actually is very interesting fact. Well, we just finished walking through the palace of Versailles. Now we are going to find some food um, because we're starving. It's actually 5, almost 5 30, and we have not eaten a thing all day today. I wanted to get to the Eiffel Tower as well as come here. Um, and this place, the palace closed at 5 30, so we were like, kind of, we were pretty much like pushing it <laughs> all the way here. So we, Dion found this place nearby the palace that has like American food. I guess that he wants some comfort food. He says that the, the portions here are very small, which I, I agree with. He's like, okay, I'm hungry. I got chilies. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, y'all gonna try this place out. It's called Buffalo Grill. And we'll see how it is. The Aqua Tower at night. There it is. We just took the train over from Palace of Versailles or that area. Um, over back over to Paris. And we didn't know that they were that the Aqua Tower stayed open so late, but they do. So we are taking tickets to get up to the second floor. The top floor, I believe, is closed right now for renovations, which is a bummer. So we can't go in, but at least you can kind of get up a little bit higher and see a better view of Paris. My makeup is all messed up because I have this mask on all day, but just the mask. Excited. And Dion almost got stuck at the train station, y'all. <laughs> he almost got stuck because his ticket like wouldn't validate for him to exit. 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't know why his is acting up either, but he literally almost got stuck in there. <laughs> I wasn't gonna get stuck. I would have broke it down. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> in Paris and to be completely honest I have failed at vlogging today it is actually um, like 7 o'clock in the evening so the day is pretty much gone <laughs> um, honestly today was more of a chill wing it day uh, me and Dion we got we started our morning our day off much earlier than we had in the past couple days um, we got up at like 9 I think we were out the door at 10 we had to stop and go get a COVID test first thing. And then we, what are we doing today? Oh, got some food. And then we took the train or the subway to, where do we go? Oh, yes, I was looking for a consignment store. So I had found a couple and there was one that I really wanted to go to. So we took a train to the consignment store to see if I can find something. Um, but one of my friends suggested checking out a consignment store here only because she was just saying that um, this is like one of the best places to get um, a secondhand or a pre-loved handbag. Um, you guys know that I do own a couple um, luxury bags and I told myself that after my last purchase, um, if you guys have been seeing that Louis Vuitton crossbody that I have been wearing this whole trip, um, that was my last purchase that I got this summer we went to New York. I got that bag. I love that bag. But I told myself that after that purchase, I was gonna try my best to get any other um, luxury handbags from um, consignment shops. That's that was my goal. Is, that is my goal. Is like from now on, like any luxury bags that I do get, that I get them pre-loved only because you can find them like in like new condition for you know a good discount. And they're just bags. Like, it's gonna be real, it's, it's just bags. <laughs> so, so yeah, so we took a train over to a consignment shop that I found. The actual shop was, um, it had a really nice, it was like a really nice setup, but I did not find anything that I loved in there. Like, they had um, a couple of different options, but nothing that I just really love that I always say, like, the bag has to speak to me, and like, I have to be like, like, I need this bag, and nothing in there I was like, I need. So that was a fail. So then we went to, the shopping avenue, I will not even pretend to pronounce it because I don't butcher it. We went there again. I did find two pairs of sneakers um, that I did love that did speak to me, so cute. And they were both on sale and like both pairs of shoes together was like 200 euros. Um, and then we tried going to another consignment store in the area that um, Dion had found and that one was a complete miss because it was like all vintage stuff but it was like stuff that was um, that was not my style. We went to a couple different little places in between there. We went to like a couple bakeries, a couple other little stores, things like that. And then we just hopped on the subway and came right back here because we wanted to get um, in at a quick nap before um, dinner because we are getting ready to go on a dinner cruise. We are at the point now where we are ready to leave. Like it's been a fun trip, but we are at the point now where we're like, and also I don't know about y'all, I cannot do long vacation. After a while, I'm just like, okay, I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to sleep in my own bed, use my own bathroom, <laughs> lounge on my own couch, you know what I'm saying? So, um, so this has been fun, and I feel like dinner will be the perfect way to end off the trip. So, I am talking a lot. I definitely want to um, get ready early because I want to shoot some content. I want to get some pictures, hopefully film a reel. Um, and then we'll probably have to catch a car to the, um, what's it called, like the deck or whatever, I don't know. I don't actually have no idea where we're gonna be loading <laughs> for the cruise, but I gotta find it and then we'll figure it out and go from there. <laughs> Thank you. 
it has been a few weeks since we have been back from Paris and um, I actually just finished editing the vlog and I realized that I never actually ended it off. So I want to go ahead and record a quick little clip to kind of wrap up the video, kind of just give my overall thoughts on the trip. That last night, I believe the last clip you guys saw was like a little, I actually made it for Instagram, but I inserted it here in the vlog. It's the, with the little montage I put together of our date night. Absolutely loved love 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 the dinner cruise for sure if anyone is watching this and wants to visit paris you have to for sure do a dinner cruise that was probably i could honestly that's like the highlight <laughs> of the trip because i just loved it so much it was very romantic you get a full panoramic view of the city as you're going down the river and i also loved it because it as i was telling dion that like i loved it because it it took us to parts of paris that we hadn't been food on the cruise was eh, like I could have did without it <laughs> but the overall experience in general was definitely worth every penny and we both loved it and that was the overall gist of the trip oh I did want to show you guys real quick that I mentioned I got some sneakers and also a pair of um, Burberry glasses I want to show you guys real quick so first we have up uh, these pair of sneakers here so here's a pair that I got. They're actually a pair of Jordans. Hopefully the light isn't like washing it out, but you guys know how much I am a neutrals girl. I love, love, love neutral tones. So when I saw this, I was like, ooh, like I definitely need these because these are right up my alley. Not a sneaker head by any means. I don't even know what kind of shoes these are. They're Jordan MA, MA2? Something, I don't know y'all. I just saw them, they were cute and they were on sale, so. I picked them up um, and I'm not a sneakerhead or anything like that, but I am trying to step up my um, sneaker game just a little bit only because I feel like I wear like the same pair of like black sneakers all the time. And like these days, especially being a mom, like I choose comfort over anything these days. And so I'm trying to like step up my sneaker game to like have more of a variety um, to like wear with different outfits. And then I also got these pair of Adidas right here. Um, these are the Oz Oswego, Oswego, Oswego. I don't know. I just saw them and they were cute. And they look like this. So they're just like a pair of like plain beige sneakers look really cool and then the last thing i got was these pair of burberry glasses um i got these whenever we were at the galleries lafayette you guys whenever dion was shopping for his um watch i cop these as well um and love 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 these i love these because i don't own anything like this i actually almost got a pair of like tortoise print cat eyes sunglasses, sunglasses but i've when I put them on, I was like, you know what? Like I own something very similar to this. And I don't want to like spend a bunch of money on something like that. I have a cheap replica. <laughs> but these, I don't have anything like. If y'all interested to see how they look on. So super cute. Um, again, nice and neutral. So go with everything. Um, and I love those. I actually, I even pulling these out now. Like I've had these for a few weeks now. I'm like, these are actually really cute. So that is what i got um in paris overall i would say that i enjoyed the trip it was a lot of fun i am so appreciative to dion for just even thinking of um just of the the whole idea that he put together because you guys know that it was a surprise trip that i had no idea about and surprising with it for christmas so super thankful to him because it was just it, like we I, I we kept saying like we really need this just like some alone time just us two just reconnecting and also it was nice to go like at our own speed for a little bit like it's kind of just like do like whatever we wanted to do whenever we wanted to do it that was nice i would definitely go again only go again though when it's warmer that's the only thing um yeah i it was just it was it was a really good trip it was a really good trip um i loved it and i definitely would want to go back i think dion's just saying that he, he like he enjoyed it but he's like oh like i don't know i don't have to do that again <laughs> um but overall we had a good time and hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you guys did give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye y'all